One of the success stories, and indeed the mainstay of my place, is the pumpkin patch. I plant about 35 different varieties of pumpkin after the last frost in November, and they take off. You can't actually see what's growing particularly well because they all tangle together and they're clamouring all over my citrus shelters. But I'm going to get an amazing harvest. Pumpkins need 100 frost-free days, so that's a long growing period compared to other vegetables. I move the pumpkin patch around in all these different beds every year, so they never grow in the same bed two years in a row. And the secret really is to find a nice sunny position with good air circulation and the best soil you can get, because these are definitely hungry vegetables. I've got a big pumpkin patch here at my property because I've got space for the larger varieties to grow. However, there are plenty of compact varieties that suit smaller gardens. This one is called Golden Nugget and there's another variety I love called Bushfire. They can either be grown as a low trailer, they can be grown up a tripod or even on a low trellis. I prepare the soil three to six months in advance using the chook manure and hay out of our chook yard. And by the time I'm ready to plant in mid to late spring, the soil is fabulous. Once planted, they need to be watered regularly. In my hot summer dry climate, if I wet the foliage, it's not a problem because within five minutes, it will have dried out. However, if you live in an area with summer humidity, try to avoid getting the foliage wet or you'll end up with powdery mildew during the growing season. When powdery mildew has taken hold, and the plants have had their day, the old plants can be added to a hot compost. The fungus doesn't tolerate the conditions. You can harvest pumpkins whenever they sound hollow and you tap them. However, because I like to store my pumpkins in my cellar, where they can last for up to 15 months, different varieties last different periods of time, I like to leave them on the vine for as long as possible to harden off. I wait till the vines have died off, and usually that's around the time of my first frost in mid-May. Whenever I cut a pumpkin, always make sure you cut a bit of the stem, and that means that the plant won't rot and it will last better. This one's ready for dinner tonight. So a successful pumpkin crop needs plenty of space to grow. Full sun, good air circulation, amazing soil with lots of compost, regular watering and plenty of time. But the rewards are definitely worth it. <laughs> <laughs>